Welcome to Wargroove. We're doing some classic down and dirty quick play, so I felt like doing some Nuru cheese. Or at least that's what I thought was going to happen in this match. Now, Nuru's come under flack lately for having a lot of very powerful cheese plays. And some folks have been wondering if Nuru can successfully even be countered under certain scenarios. Uh, I, I think she definitely can. I think an aggressive strategy against Nuru is very effective. And this match is kind of a good example of that. So I chose to attack with my commander and send two swords top to capture properties and barracks. My plan was, alright, I'll, I'll get all the properties, same speed as my opponent, but I'll be on the attack. If their commander chooses to go top, I'll defeat their barracks before they even get to do anything and come after me, and then use their barracks to attack their stronghold. So that's how I'll win the game. However, my opponent was very clever and responded very well to my attack. They built an early archer, which at first I was thinking, ha ha ha, an archer, what are you doing? You have nothing to protect it. That was actually very smart, because archers are very slow, and since they're basically walking on land, you can't build uh, wagons on this stage. The archer was built at a perfect time so that it could walk over to the battlefield and be there when the battle starts. Now, in my current situation, I'm stuck deciding what to do. My opponent did choose to send one of their swords to the left, so I choose to respond with a pike, and maybe that wasn't the best plan. Because I'm thinking, okay, they've got a sword, uh, pike's counter swords, I probably want a good pike, right? And also there's Mercia incoming, I want units that can threaten off Mercia. I was also thinking about my own, possibly Treb, or an archer or something, but I, I really wanted some meat shields to put in front of it first, so I decided to go pike. Now, I could have attacked in here, but if I failed to kill it, then Mercia could stand on the forest and smack me in the face. I'd be not so far up on Groove, I could also get Archer attacked, and since the Archer is a ranged unit, I wouldn't get any Groove from that either. And remember, Nuru does not have a healing factor, so going up against someone like Mercia who has a healing factor is a little bit risky when there are no nearby villages to heal off of. Look at our current situation, there are no villages nearby, the only thing I could heal off of is my own Rax. And if I do that, the Rax could get low and theoretically get taken. Besides, I'm limited to how much I can heal off the racks. So this was a bit of a better situation for me, or so I thought. I'm in the forest, Mercy is on road. If she attacks into me, we'll come up about even. We'll be about even on groove. It'll be great. Everything will be great. The archer isn't able to reach me here. The sword can't reach me. I'm totally fine. Still, though, it gave Mercia a great window into attacking me. He started building up a little bit of tempo, because I'm still a little bit low, I still took damage, I'm not up on Groove, and that sword is still on full health, that archer is still coming in and threatening me. I can't stay here, otherwise Mercia can continue to pound me, right? And plus, they built a knight, which if you're counting, can crit me exactly where I am. So great plays by my opponent. Early archer and then following it up with a knight ensured that the archer and the knight would hit the center of the map at exactly the same time, making for a perfect attack wave to use against me. When you're fighting Nuru, building a perfect attack front like that is very important. And look, I'm outnumbered. I was player one, but I'm outnumbered. My opponent has a knight and an archer that are both coming into the field. They have a commander that can heal where I can't heal. I, I can't even get to my racks and heal this turn. So I decide to set up a double pike barrier and build Nuru and continue to gold save. I figure, all right, if I gold save enough and I get my groove, I can do something awesome there. I don't know what, but something, or I can build a Trevor or a golem soon. It's okay. I I'm fine. I'm fine. At least that's what I keep telling myself. But now my opponent has an interesting position on me. They can continue to smack Nuru from relative safety. Mercy is still too low on groove to completely be able to take risks like that, right? Because the pikes might take her out. And the uh, the knight and the archer can't reach me because I retreated. I bought myself one turn. Though they will both crash at about the same time. So my opponent is trying to decide what to do. And they, and I also as I'm watching this, realize that if they could eliminate that pike, that pike that can be hit on two sides, and Mercia finishes it off, that will give Mercia a groove. She's currently at 40%.
Taking out a unit and ending your turn will give 60%, giving Mercia full groove. I wouldn't have enough at that point to assassinate Mercia. Nuru plus single pike isn't enough. And so that would mean that Mercia would have groove, have pretty high health, be able to recover if I attacked into her, remain there as a threat, plus that archer is now threatening to be able to hit pikes on the next turn. The knight is too. I'd have lost my pike crit unless I build another knight next turn, which would, if I did that, mean that I didn't build anything good. And another pike would just get wrecked by the archers. So, as you can tell, if they are able to destroy that pike with the one-two punch, I could be completely screwed. However, it lives. If you can see on the screen, it lives with exactly 7%. Now let's talk about that. So, Mercia is at 74% health. That means the average damage the commander will do to a pike is about 51.8, or let's say 52%. A sword at full health will do about 40 on average, so the pike is expected to live with about 8% health. It lived with 7, they got like a little bit of a higher roll, but that was pretty much average. So unfortunately, Mercia was too low to finish assassinating that pike. Even, I think, in patch um, 2.0 when the DLC comes out, it still would have been a little bit below enough to kill the pike. Which was pretty much the reason I was safe there, because they didn't have enough power to take the pike out. They would have to do like 7% more on average for that to be more of a safe play. So because I still have this 1% pike, I've got to play a little bit carefully. Now, my opponent chose to build a second archer. I think that was a mistake because the second archer is not going to make it to the front in time. Building that first archer early was very good because they timed it well, but that guy's too far back. They're pressing the attack. They want to keep tempo or at least hold the line. So I, I think the second archer was a bit of a botch. Now, I just choose to attack right into Mercia because I know it won't give her groove this turn or even the next turn, maybe, depending on what she does. So I have a pretty safe attack into her. I have that golem there threatening to kill something. At this point, even if the archer goes after my pike, I can take it out. Even if the knight goes into me, I can take it out. I've got that clutch golem that my opponent does not have a counter for, and Mercia can't stick around because the golem can finish her off if she does. Additionally, that also means Mercia can't attack something to build groove because that would put her in range of being finished off by the golem. Now, one thing she might have wanted to try was archer into pike, Mercia finishes off pike, and then knight takes pike spot hit golem. Then Mercia could only be attacked on one side, and I would not have enough to kill her with either Nuru or the golem, and just by attacking her, I, I might end up giving her groove. Um, but uh, the problem with that is uh, an archer will do an average of 60 to a pike, and Mercia herself can't really do much, maybe like 28 at this point. So the, the pike would almost certainly live even with a maximum roll by both. Given that I kind of have the advantage on her right now, a risk play might have been a good idea, but instead my opponent made a bit of a bit of a mistake there. They attacked right into the pike with a knight. Now just because the pike didn't have crit doesn't mean that's a good idea. Knights are countered by pikes hard. You can't really attack into them unless they're already low. The archer definitely should have attacked the pike first if that's what they were going for. So that kind of put them in a bit of a bad way. Mercia has to retreat now because pretty much anywhere she stands is at a big risk. And my opponent doesn't really have very much follow-up with that weakened knight. And the fact that on their uh, barracks they only have an archer and a pike too slow. Those units are too slow. It'll take them two turns to be useful in this fight. So I can sweep up with my golem, and there's not a lot they can do. Now, um, because Mercia is standing in forest, I don't have enough to take her out, but I can definitely slaughter her remaining units. Additionally, since Mercia can't really threaten Nuru anymore, and my opponent's units are way far back, I can very easily attack into um, that archer. Now, I elect to heal my pike here, which may have been a bit of a mistake, because I just dropped my barracks to the range where the archer might have been able to take it out? Oops, um, but I think it's alright because that archer is really low, and I don't th I don't think they really had enough to take it out. But still, dropping my barracks that low was a bit of a risk. Um, I throw a pike up top. I'm not really counting Nuru Gold at this point because I, I kind of don't need to. I'm just building troops against my opponent. Even if strictly speaking I can't get an assassination on Mercia, it doesn't matter. I'm far enough ahead now. I'm up on 
Um, I've just taken the lead on unit count. I definitely have the unit advantage because I have a golem and my opponent has things that can't fight into a golem. It's weird that I'm playing Nuru and I built a golem. Usually, uh, Mercio would be the one to build a golem. But Mercia tried to outrush my rush and did a great job. It's just that mistake around the pike was a bit costly. She should have either Archer first and then gone in with Mercia and then followed up with the knight or alternatively backed off completely. Um, but yeah, what she did was the wrong way to go about it. The odds were just not in her favor that that pike was going down. She would need close to a, a very good, almost perfect roll to have taken down the pike under those circumstances. In the upcoming patch, it would have been a little better, but still not a great roll. So um, at this point, I'm thinking, okay, Mercy is probably going to stand on the mountain. If she does, I'll go around her. Um, Nuru summon an alchemist to crit on the right, and then giant hit her on the left. I think that takes her out. But she instead chose to hit Nuru. I guess she was thinking making me weaker, so my attack next turn would be weaker, and now she has Groove, but Mercy would have gotten Groove just by ending her turn. She definitely should have tried to flee the present situation. Um, maybe even just back up as much as possible, but I'm not sure if there was a safe position for her at this point. So that's pretty much GG. She's in kill range of the Golem, and I also have um, a new Groove that I could have used here. Uh, yep. Yeah. So that's the end of the game. Uh, great game though by Chato uh, 1414. I've got to say I really liked the timing of that first Archer build in the night. But when you're choosing to go aggressive, when you're committing to go aggressive, you can't start building pikes and archers way, way back away from the front. Because those are members of your army that aren't fighting, while the entirety of my army is fighting you. Alright, GG. Um, that was a little bit interesting. We weren't able to use or disprove Nuru Cheese, because the game kind of ended before either of us could really use Groove. Uh, I guess we'll focus on that in a later video. Uh, but I hope you enjoyed this quick match, and great game, Chato.